Hi, Pit Masters. Today we're making porchetta. To make the porchetta, we're going to use the original Italian cut of meat, which is the pork belly, including the pork loin. So it's all the way from the back to the belly. The first step is to take off the skin. We're trying to cut as close to the skin as possible without damaging it. When you have taken off the skin, save it for later, we're going to use it to wrap the porchetta. The next step is to butterfly the meat. And the goal is to create as much surface as possible. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like inside, as long as you create a large surface to put the herbs on. Now it's time to prepare the fresh herbs. I've got here rosemary and thyme, which I'm going to strip off the stalks and then finely chop them. We don't want any big chunks because you're going to feel that in your mouth afterwards. We are going to do the same for the sage. First take off the stalks and then chop it fine again. The next ingredient is fresh garlic, which we also will chop fine. And the last ingredient we're going to prepare is lemon zest. I'm using two lemons. Of course, the amounts always depend on the size of pork that you have. Now it's time to place the herbs and spices on the pork. We're going to start off by putting a heavy coat of salt on it. Followed by fresh crushed black pepper, plenty of fennel powder, and finally we are going to add the fresh ingredients that we have just prepared. Because this is such a large cut of meat, we want a lot of spices in there. So make sure you have prepared enough and don't be afraid to use them. Now it's time to roll up your pork belly tightly and place it into the skin. We're going to wrap all of the pork belly into the skin and we're trying to achieve a nice round form. I'm using a skewer to make sure it doesn't fall apart again, which gives me the time to sew it up with a butcher's thread and needle. If you don't have a needle like this, it's not a problem. Just use your knife to puncture holes. Let's put it on the side and take a look. Well, that looks good. I'm not a butcher, and if I can do it, I think you can as well. It just takes some time to practice. To give this package a little more stability and make sure that the pork skin stays in place, we're going to secure it with two more butcher's thread. You can use even more if you want to. Don't forget to puncture the skin with a sharp knife. This will let the fat, which is close to the skin out, Place the porchetta on the spit and secure it with pins. Then place the spit and the porchetta on your barbecue. In this case I'm using a gas grill. You can use any type of grill that you want to. I'm putting a dripping pan underneath because there's going to be a lot of fat that will render off. After cooking the porchetta for 3 hours at about 150 degrees Celsius, which is 300 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to turn on the back burner at a low heat and we're going to make sure that we clean up the skin very well. By cleaning the skin, we're going to make sure it doesn't burn on the outside and it gets a chance to crispen up. Letting the skin crispen up takes about another hour, but it's worth it. After you've crispened up the skin and it gets all nice and bubbly, you're going to let the meat rest for about 10 minutes. And here is the payoff. Do you see all the nice rings of spices, the crispy skin? Well, the porchetta turned out fantastic. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Cheers. Mm -hmm.